So upper respiratory system again, this is obviously a, a close-up view. Um, we have the frontal sinus and sphenoidal sinus. The structure right here is our nasal septum. The word septum comes from the word wall, so this is what separates one side of, one side of your nasal cavity and the next. Okay? So w what makes up this nasal septum or this wall here is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone and the vomer. This up here is in blue, it's, it's hyaline cartilage, which is why you can wiggle the tip of your nose, it's just cartilage. As so we take this off, you'll see it's very vascular here. The vascularity continues into the superior, middle, and inferior nasal concha. Beneath each of those as air flows through, air comes up the nostrils or the external nares into the nasal vestibule, goes into the nasal cavity, and swirls around. As it swirls around these turbinate bones, air goes through the superior, middle, and inferior meatus, warming, humidifying, clarifying itself before it goes down into the lungs. External nares is here, internal nares is here. You'll also see in this region, we have the opening to the auditory tube, or the eustachian tube, or the pharyngotympanic tube. This is what leads out to the middle ear. We have the adenoid, or the pharyngeal tonsil, as we come across here, this is what our hard palate is at the roof of your mouth, made up of the maxilla and the palatine bone, soft palate, and the uvula at the back of the soft palate. If I take this off one more layer still, you'll see cranial nerve number one, the olfactory nerve with the olfactory bulb. These little openings here would be the olfactory foramina that were in the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone and those nerve endings continue down into the nasal cavity. So when we breathe through our nose and we smell odorants, that's what gets picked up on this, this nervous supply here.